there, it's Amelia bringing you another Microsoft PowerPoint video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the spinning wheel and simulated lights. Let's get started. I have a blank slide open and I'm going to insert a picture of a wheel that I have downloaded from Pixabay. So one thing you want to make sure of is it's hard to tell if this has a uh, background or not, but I can tell you for sure that it has a white uh, background. So I want to make sure that I remove the background because I'm going to overlay this wheel on top of a larger circle. So I'm going to click Remove Backgrounds. Okay, so that's that'll work. So I'm going to keep changes, and now that uh, I have removed the background, I'm ready for the next step. So first, let's add the spinning motion to our wheel. That's pretty easy. All we have to do with our image selected is go into animations, and then in the emphasis group, I'm going to click spin, and it will default to on click duration two. We'll leave that for now. Uh, depending on how you want your wheel to spin before and after the other part of the animation, which is the simulated flashing lights, you can select after or before previous. We can change that later. Okay, so for the next step, to create the simulation of this flashing lights, I'm, I need to insert a larger circle around this image. So first, let me go ahead and make this a little smaller. Okay, that'll work. And I want to add a second slide because I'm going to need to manage my uh, images separately. Now you can either insert a second blank slide or you can duplicate so that you have your wheel handy just in case you need to compare with the circle that you're going to draw. So let me go ahead and just, I'll go with duplicate. Okay, so next I need to draw a circle that's larger than the wheel. So I'm going to click Insert, Shapes, and pick Oval. And I want a circle. I want to make sure it's symmetrical. So you want to hold the Shift key down while you're drawing. And make it a little larger than the wheel. And just to compare, I'm going to send that to back temporarily. Okay, and want to make sure that it's sort of centered. Okay, good. And I like the fact that I have those little horizontal and vertical lines. The other thing you could do is you can click uh, View Grid Lines to help you with um, alignment. Okay, so I want to make this circle that I've just uh, drawn red. So I'm going to change that to a fill color of red. And actually, that's a little bit too bright. I want to go with a darker red. So let me uh, select uh, more fill colors and pick a darker red. I think that will be just right. Okay, so next I need to draw a series of smaller circles around the edge of the red circle. Now I'm just going to draw one and then I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm going to click Insert, Shapes, and again pick the oval, hold my Shift key down, and draw. Okay, and that's fine. Now I need to change that to white. So let me just go ahead and select white there. And you want to make sure that that's centered in the middle there. And now I want to duplicate that and I'm going to duplicate it around 25 or 30 times. You can just click while your small circle is selected. Just click Control D and you can duplicate it that way. And then once you have them duplicated, you can just arrange them around the edge. Okay, so now I've arranged all my white circles around the edge of the red circle. So for the next step, I'll need to have another version of the red circle with smaller circles for another layer. And I need to duplicate uh, the red circle, but first I'm gonna take the wheel out of the way. I'm actually going to just delete it. I already have it on slide one because um, it's just going to be in the way. So what I want to do is duplicate the slide. And an easy way to duplicate the slide would just be hit Control D. Okay, so on that third slide, which um, has the same uh, circles, I want to actually make every other circle yellow. So I'm going to just click one of the white circles and change the fill 
to yellow. It could be any color, but I've experimented and yellow seems to be the best uh, choice um, with the flashing lights. So you can go with like a bright yellow or actually I'm just going to go with like maybe something close like to that. Okay, so then you can use the format painter with the yellow circle selected, double click on the format painter so you can use it more than once. And then just click on every other circle to make every other circle yellow. Okay, so now you should have three slides and at this point it's pretty important to group all your circular shapes together on each slide so that they would stay put. So what we want to do is, um, I'll go back to slide two first and do that one. I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, actually I have my format painter still on so just make sure you hit escape to turn the format painter off. So I want to hit control A to select all the circles and then on any edge right click and select group. Okay, and we want to do the same thing to this slide. I noticed that if you don't, I, I, the reason why I clicked first is because if you don't and you just click on the slide and you hit control A, it actually selects all slides. So when you click on slide three, just click anywhere, actually click on the image and then hit control A. Again, right click on the edge and select group. Okay, so next, the grouped shapes, which is now considered, you know, one grouped image from slide three needs to be layered on top of the image on slide two. So we want to click on the image on slide three and cut it. You can also copy it, but I'll just go ahead and uh, cut it here and then go to slide two and then paste it. Okay, so before we apply animation effects, let's go ahead and duplicate these two images. I'm going to duplicate about eight or ten times. First, I'm going to press Control A to select both of these images, and then I'm going to just click Control C to copy and then Control Paste a bunch of times. Okay, so next we want to arrange all the images so that they are in the exact same position. So I want to again select Control A and make sure all images are selected. And then from the Home tab in the Arrange pull down, I'm going to first click Align Center and next click Align Middle. And let me just go ahead and move that here. Next we're going to apply the animation. So with all the images selected from the Animations tab, we're going to click Appear. Next, in the Timing group, I'm going to change Start to After Previous. And I want to change the duration to a half of a second. So now might be a good time to see how the animation looks so far. So let's go ahead and preview it. And you could see that here's the flashing lights. So finally, let's add the game wheel to the center of the images. So we want to go to slide one, grab the wheel, cut it and go to slide two and then paste it and just uh, align it so that it is in the center. You could do it by hand or what you could do is just go to home, arrange and do the same thing that we did before to make sure it is centered properly. Actually, it doesn't look like it's centered exactly as the circles. I'm just going to manually move it around a little bit. So it's just about finished. There may be some um, finishing touches that we need to make, but let's go ahead and go to animations and preview and see what it what it looks like. Okay, so I see the flashing lights. Now, right now I have the spinning animation um, occurring after the flashing lights. If you like, you can have the spinning occur first or you can experiment. In the animations tab, in the timing, 
Well, I hope that was helpful. And if you like this video, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear any comments or questions. And if you're interested, I can also provide you this animation, this PowerPoint. Just leave me a message in comments. And remember, if you like my channel, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.